Namaste from Deepesh. Today we are entering volume 3 on my YouTube series Power of Low Code Logic. In this volume, we are going to learn how to add members to a record access team dynamically by accessing template using Power Automate. I am Deepesh Samani, Business Applications MVP and MCT, co founder and author to multiple Dynamics 365 books. Before we get into the actual hands on with the Power Automate, let's quickly try and understand about access teams a bit, just in case you have not encountered it in your recent times. So here is a quick refresher on our access team template. In this example, we have taken an access team template on contact table. What is team template? It can be used for entities that are enabled for automatically created scenarios as well. In this, we can define the privileges that are to be given, and then we can place a subgrid right on the record form. And from where, if we add the particular user to that subgrid or that grid on the form, then the particular set of privileges are given to that specific record. And if we remove the user from there, then the access is taken off. Indirectly, I mean to say that it will share the particular record with that particular user or team. And when I say team, I mean owner teams. Now, in this example, we have append, append to read and write privileges that can be given. This is a common scenario when the user is able to use the UI or the form to do it. Now, we want to automate it in a low code way. And that's the particular scenario for today using Power Automate. All right, so let's quickly get into hands-on and I'll explain the scenario first. Here we have a particular contact record form opened up and you can see an optional field as department. Sometimes we, what we need to do is based on certain conditions or fields filled up, we need to give access to certain records, specific record to certain department or certain other set of user. In this example, we are taking the example of this department. If I mark particular record with this department, then I want them added to the team automatically. Obviously, this is being handled by Power Automate. Let me quickly get this filled in and then we'll see it in action. So here I have populated uh, first name and last name. Last name is required. So I just use a bit of time to populate that. In department, this is a custom one. I am picking department type IT and just I'm going to save the record. Let's wait for this record to be saved and then we'll let the Power Automate kick in and then we'll see what happens. Thereafter, we'll understand the Power Automate. So here, if I go into this department team, which is an access team on this record and refresh, you will see that a bunch of users are getting added, right? Test one and four. I have kept test one available here for us to quickly view. So in test one, if you see the department type is IT, which is the same one, right? That's a custom thing, which I had built for this particular scenario. Now we will try and understand how this one worked, right? So we'll get into the Power Automate next. So in this Power Automate, I've just opened this Power Automate title, adding members and teams, contacts or contacts. When a contact is added, we are basically triggering this particular flow. What we are doing, we are doing a list users, which is just to get all the user IDs which are attached to that particular department ID. This is a simple fetch that we are doing. And then we are applying a loop on all the return set of entity records. Microsoft provides a bound action to add dynamically uh, the users to a particular access team, which is add user to record team. This is available on user as a table. Now I'm passing the row ID based on the return user from that collection. Then I'm giving the contact record ID from for which particular we are triggering. And then we have to identify the team template ID and pass it on here, right? Now this team template ID can be taken from the particular access team template. You can just go to URL and get this one. And then we can uh, use this in this automated way. So hope you are able to understand this particular flow and it will be useful to you in your scenario or for your learning. Or 365 as usual guys, till we meet for the next time.